What is going on everyone? It's Kelly here. We're here off of Stewart, Florida with the Lee family. Y'all already know Cheyenne Lee. We got our brother David, Mama Dukes, Taylor, and David's girlfriend Kat in the front there. And we're just going to do a drift dive. We don't know what we're going to see. I have some flashers with me. And what flashers do is they're very reflective in the water. And any fish that's swimming around or maybe on the bottom of the water will swim up to the flashers to check them out. Hopefully giving us enough time to dive down and shoot them. So y'all are going to see what we're going to see. Let's get in the water. That's fine. There's like, there's literally 80 Goliaths. Oh my gosh. There's chili down there. Jeez. I've never seen that before. There must be spawning or something. There's literally so many. There's a hundred of them. There's probably stacked underneath too. I want to go back down and like. Yeah. That is crazy. fish. Two of them swam right under me, right on top of all, of all those Goliath Rooper. Stoned them too. It's definitely going to be hard getting that shaft out because it didn't penetrate through the other side. So I'll have to get in the boat and figure that out. Meanwhile, Taylor, Dave, and Cheyenne are still in the water.
So, uh, let me. I was hesitant putting a second shot because I didn't want to be a tangled mess. Even though. Oh, yeah. No, no, it's fine. I was like. The only bad thing about flashers. And he was. I know, I was trying to pull him away from the flashers. The shark was going for it, and the Jew fish came out of nowhere. Yeah, I probably need to unclip. Yeah, that. there's there's a lot of. Like this, this snap sucks no. too. It's like a. Oh, what the heck? It's like a. That's not what you want. Man, that bite though. Oh, this. Yeah, that's that's it. Like, Kelly, why did you have to get hungry on the buoy? Brought yeah, snap. for real. I got hungry. Y'all, y'all know I love my yellow jack. Big <laughs> bite. This is Dave's fish. Big bite. Look at that horrible shot, Some too. chaos just went down. It was pretty there mad. There in the ocean. So a uh, sandbar shark was coming up on this yellow jack that Dave shot. And then he kind of looked, he looked interested and then he was kind of leaning away from it. And then a big Goliath grouper out of nowhere just came and went to go take this fish. But unfortunately, I think the shaft detoured the Goliath grouper. He let it go. Then the shark just full and attacked it. But check out that perfect bite. Yeah, that is a big bite. I feel that. It was. It was. <laughs>
Okay, but I was on safety the first one. I was like, no! <laughs> this time there was only like four. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, my gun has got to slip through the cord. My gun was on safety at first. I was like, dang it. <laughs> but they stuck around. Colors on him, huh? That's a nice one. But yeah, I missed him point blank the first time, and then I had to go back and get him out of the wreck. There you go. Both of them here. Nice shot. Thank you. Good fish. So I went ahead and stepped out of the boat, or stepped out of the boat, stepped out of the water because I'm getting a little chilly, a little chilly down there. So I might throw my wetsuit pants on and then go down and shoot a nice mangrove. Cheyenne did shoot a nice mangrove snapper. And she was pulling it up and it ripped right out, so she's having a hard time today. <laughs> but let me tell you, sometimes that just happens. Some days I spearfish and I will shoot stone every fish I point at. And then some days I miss every single fish, so that's just how it is. Ooh, look at them cheeks. Never had grouper cheeks. Uh, no, I'm serious. Are they good? Are you serious? I'm serious. I've never, I've never took the cheeks out of them. For real? For real. Yeah. I always see them in the store though, like grouper cheeks for sale, oh, but yeah. I, I never, never tried them. They're like nice, moist, fatty grouper nuggets. They're really definitely, good. Definitely gonna have to try this. Oh yeah. Where's my eyes? All right, you guys. We are calling it quits on spear fishing. We did pretty good. We got some. Big amberjacks. We got a couple kingfish. Uh, Dave shot a nice black grouper. What else? Oh, my spade fish. What'd you shoot? Just the amberjack, Taylor? I shot an amberjack. Rough amberjack. Deck. Yeah. We lost the flashers. So after the whole fiasco with the shark and the um, Goliath grouper on the big yellow jack that Dave shot, or you shot? Dave shot the yellow jack. Yeah, Dave shot the yellow jack. Uh, I saw the flashers drifting away and I was like, all right, once we get everything in the boat situated, we'll go out and get the flashers. Well, totally forgot to get the flashers. So uh, hopefully whoever finds orange Florida Freediver, beautiful flashers, offshore Stewart, congratulations. You have, you have a new set of flashers. So we're at, over here at the sandbar right now. Crystal, crystal clear water. Big nasty storms on the land right there, but the one cool thing about Florida is for the most part, the storms will, for the most part, the storms will stay on the land. And once they're on the land pushing west, it's beautiful on the water. All right, lovebirds. As you can see, this cooler is super fresh and new, hence why it's so sparkling white still. But if you guys are interested in gator coolers, they are, the cool, see, brand new. <laughs> I got my, Island Key Instagram handle on the bottom. We have my logo on top. The cool thing about Gator coolers is you can customize whatever you want on the top of your cooler, which is really cool. You guys can use promo code Island Key to save 10% off any Gator cooler, which is, I mean, a pretty nice chunk. Coolers can get pretty expensive. So we have our spade fish, our kingfish, and last but not least, our rainbow runner that I shot last minute because I really wanted raw fish to eat. But we're gonna focus on this kingfish right here. Now this isn't the biggest kingfish, but I think it's perfect for us to eat. I'm gonna do something I've never done before. I'm going to try to stake this kingfish. I think I can do it, but Gabe, Blue Gabe who's behind the camera just informed me to slice a little cut right here and then pop it. So we'll see if I can do it. No filleting necessary. I'm gonna start right here. All right. 
So we got a cut. Let's see if I can do this. Oh, this is gonna hurt my hand. Oh! That was a lot easier than I thought it'd be. Look at that. These are gonna be mini kingfish steaks. What's really cool about spear fishing is most of the time when you spear the fish, it kind of naturally gets blood out for you. Ow, that one hurt. That one hurt my hand a little bit. It's on that peck bin. Check that out. So I'm gonna go ahead and stake this whole kingfish. I think I should just leave the skin on like that. Yeah, you leave the skin on. Huh. How cool is that? I'm super excited. I'm gonna go ahead and marinate these in an avocado base marinade. I'll show you guys what I put in the marinade and then we're gonna throw these on the grill. And I'm super excited because this kingfish was swimming about five hours ago. So it's super fresh. Not gonna lie, this looks amazing and it smells so good too. So I went ahead and marinated them in olive oil paprika, salt, pepper, cilantro, garlic, and hot sauce. And I put it in like a Ziploc bag. Unfortunately, the Ziploc bag had a hole in it, so I put it in a bowl, stuck them in the fridge for 20 minutes, and this was the outcome. We're gonna throw them on the grill. That's preheated to 350. I'm gonna try to flip these as minimal as possible. So big. Ready? Hold on. Do the jump Finley? thing. Sit. Oh boy. Jump. jump. Here, give me a play. Oh. <laughs> Come on. Jump. 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 Y'all are all out of sync. <laughs> Normally you're in sync, but. Alright, ready? Ready? Hold on. Ready? Ready? Jump. Jump. Come on, Finley. Jump. 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 <laughs> <laughs> He's slow right now, so when Finley gets super excited, if I jump, he will jump with me every single time. It's Redneck's hilarious. Redneck's definitely trying to bust him. Redneck. Yeah. I wonder what Redneck thinks because when Redneck met Finley, Finley was this big. Now he's this big. He has just turned five months old. You want to lick my fingers? <laughs> and he's doing pretty good. If you guys don't know, if you follow with my channel, um, when I first got Finley, he was diagnosed with megasophagus. Long story short, he has to eat up elevated. That way gravity can pull the food down to his stomach. Um, fortunate for us, he's been doing really good with it. Every now and then he'll like regurgitate sometimes, but so far so good. And he is the best puppy I've honestly ever owned. So he's doing pretty good, but we're gonna give these probably, probably like 10 minutes on each side, maybe 20 minutes or so, and then we're gonna try them, so. I'm looking forward to it. This is something completely different that I've never tried or had before, so can't wait. All right, I took them off of the smoker slash grill that we have. I let them cool down, just kind of set them in the microwave, but they're still warm. Look at all that olive oil, or that avocado oil. They actually smell really good. Look, you know what type of fish this is? Am I looking at it? Uh. What do you think? It's the opposite of a queen fish. It's an opposite of tuna? <laughs> uh, let's try that again. Barracuda? What do you call a person that wears a crown? Kingfish. Yep. Alright. You said Turn around hungry. so we can see your reaction. Luke's been starving all day. I haven't even had it yet. It's How is it, Luke? Is it good? He kind of had a mouthful. It's not bad at all. It's very steaky. It's actually pretty good. The flavor is very mild. Mm -hmm. I kind of thought it was going to be spicy because I did put hot sauce in it, but it's not spicy at all. Let me, up, let me up in here. That's not bad. I want to get some of this like oil up in here. Dad, can I try deer meat real quick? I probably could have took it off the grill like seven minutes like sooner because I kind of think it dried it out a little bit. But all right, if you get the top, watch the top of it with all the oil and the fat. 
That skin's really good for the dogs, too. Yeah, that's the good part. Mm hmm. The flavor's good. I would probably do this again. Because honestly, every time we catch kingfish, it's always fish dip. Because here on our on the East Coast, like Stewart, Jupiter, of Florida, we don't really eat kingfish like this. Um, we just make fish dip with it. But in other parts of the world and our country, you'll see kingfish on the menu to order it just like this. So this is really cool. I'm glad I did this. I think you're going to see in the comments a lot of people eat kingfish yeah. here. Oh, I know. They do. But I mean with we like don't. us fishermen and like a lot of commercial guys and just people who get fish on a normal basis like we would probably more like group or snap or stuff like that like that's what i'm trying to say <laughs> finley's wondering where his is at. finley here here baby boy Come since you did so good while i was diving today come here ready for dinner. sit good boy Oh my gosh, his eyes are looking into my soul. Oh, okay, okay. Sit, eh, sit, sit. What? What was that? Sit. That was a stand. Good boy, gentle, gentle, gentle. He's working on the gentle part. Here, my neck. Here you go. Good boys. Good boys. Gosh, I'm in a house full of boys. All right, you guys. This video is ending. I know. I have more on my fingers. Here you go. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to subscribe to the channel, give this video a thumbs up, and leave a positive comment below. But right now, we will see you guys on the next one. See ya!